Very early on, there was only one voice in my game, my own. Versace. And this is my biggest point to everybody. This is why I don't allow complaining or dwelling for people that want to fuck with me. Because no matter what, I'm gonna point to somebody who had the same exact same, oh what, you had a crackhead father and your, and your mom fucking sexually abused you and you got stabbed? Cool, let me show you this kid who actually had that exact same thing and he won. Like what we're talking about right now is the reason I win. I'm not worried about the little details. This is all macro, blueprint, strategy, mental strategy. No matter what we say right now, Pete, I'm gonna show you somebody who grew up with the same exact situation and had different outcomes. And so for me, everybody who's dwelling on their shortcoming, the bottom line is no matter where you start, everybody has paths to winning and losing. For me, the best move is to take control of your shit. No matter how fucked up you are right now, get rid of loser friends and family, introduce yourself to positivity and winners, and watch how it plays out. By the way, that's the punchline. Like this is a mental game. Like, there's just nothing else. If you're not feeling it, find new friends. I'm being dead serious about this. This one is real big for me. Who you hang out with is a huge deal. And again, these are all tried and true things, right? We've heard the, you're the whatever of the five friends you spent, like, that's real. That's, that one, put in the bank. Please understand that mindset is controllable in the same way that all our opinions are controllable. The key is to add more people with optimism and cut people with negativity. It's very, very simple. And I'm trying to figure out how to get this for everybody because it is the, I think it's the ultimate. I lived in my own head, nobody had say. When I tell you nobody fucking had say, still to this day, nobody has say. Nobody has say. Very early on, there was only one voice in my game, my own. It's so scary to me how singular my own voice is. It doesn't mean that I don't listen to feedback. It doesn't mean that I'm delusional and I think I can get away with bad shit and it's all okay. I could say something right now in this podcast. Everybody on earth says I'm a piece of shit and in my own mind I'm like, we'll see. It's very strange how I live life. It's, it's way more extreme than you think. It's way more extreme than I think. I'm just like kind of like going through it right now. I'm like, what the fuck? This is crazy. Like, it just means that I am incapable of valuing anybody else's opinion, including my mom's, my wife's, and my children's opinion about me over my own. If you realized how much of the actions you do is to show your mom, or your dad, or your sibling, or your spouse, or somebody, show somebody else that you made it, or you did it, it is remarkably scary how many people are dictated by somebody else's opinion. The, the, whole, the whole game's broken because everybody's too tied up into other people's opinions. I only care about my opinion of myself. I think most people do shit for other people. I think most people buy the car and the house for other people. Do, do some people love the leather of a car or the horsepower? Yes. Do some people like love having a home that has nine rooms they never use? Sure. But you understand, when you're building something, you you fucking invest in the right things as soon as fucking possible. The problem is most people don't get to that because they're, as when something starts getting successful, they're taking the money out and buying dumb shit. I've never met anybody who's been able to penetrate my mindset and that includes my own parents. What's even crazier of where I'm at now, I feel like I'm this manifestation, I feel like they made me, but then I mutated into something else, I, don't value anybody's opinion about me more than I have about my own self, and it's a very big deal. There's nothing like it, man, there's nothing like it. I don't know what else to say, it is the ultimate drug, it is the ultimate leverage, it's exactly what you're talking about, that's exactly what I'm doing. I, people, people don't get it, like life's basic, and we make it complicated, and it starts with being right in your own mind. It's such an inside game, it's an inside game. Just add more people with positivity and optimism and cut people with pessimism and cynicism. Who you surround yourself matters. What content you consume matters. I basically suffocate myself for a long period of my time and created an environment that was based on offense and optimism and now I know no different. I just don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. Now, I equally care so much of how they view me and what they think of me. It's pulling from opposite directions, but you gotta start with yourself because when you're actually allowing other people to get in, you're vulnerable. 